Hi, and thanks for joining me today. Today, we're just gonna go over how to change your toner, your toner ways, go over jams and a uh, few other things. So in regards to service maintenance or in supplies or anything of that nature, you will find a sharp direct sticker on the front of your machine typically right around here. On that sticker, you will notice a 1-800 number uh, that will give you access to uh, calling and making service calls, uh, ordering supplies, maintenance, anything of that nature. On that sticker, you will have an ID number that is specific to your machine and location. So when you are calling our service uh, uh, Sharp Direct, please make sure you have that equipment ID number. It will make things easier and quicker when you are calling because we will know where the machine is located as well as the model of the machine. Um, in regards to your toner, it does show you right on the screen. Okay, so you have a little gauge there. Once it says please replace and it will code it to which toner is actually run out. Uh, we're physically gonna flip this down and the cartridge will actually pop out for us. We're gonna grab the cartridge completely out, take the new one, slide it in, click it in place and off we go, as simple as that, okay? This is your toner waste compartment. What that does is it stores excess toner particles. Once it fills up, it physically won't print anything until it's changed. To change it, we're simply just gonna push the green buttons on both sides. It's gonna pop out just like that. Carefully, we're gonna take it out Please uh, notice that there will be residual particles, but it does close up the holes of where the particles are going in. Take the new one, simply set it here like this on this hinge, and then simply push both sides in, okay? Now keep in mind, um, once that goes, it will not process anything until it's changed, so it's very important you have an extra one of those on hand. And if it's in the middle of a job and it stops, and it says, please replace, you'll replace it and it'll continue from that point on, okay? Anything else that's sent to the queue, again, we'll just sit in the queue until it's changed, then go through the queue and the order the material was set. Both of these are recyclable and we do have an in-house recycling program. So if you go to www.shorp.ca, go to the very bottom, you'll find a toner recycling link. Click on that, um, put your address in, It'll actually put the postage and the address it needs to go to, print it off on plain white paper, tape it up to the box, and uh, send it Canada Post. Great. Now, your paper trays. In regards to your paper trays, these ones are all universal trays. So uh, when you are loading, just make sure you move the guides uh, apart. Load your paper in, 500 sheets, one full stack. Just make sure you're under the max fill line right in there. Then simply take your guides, around tightly around your um, paper this way when you close up the tray and you load your original into here or on the glass when you go to print it knows automatically which tray to pull from all four trays look exactly the same okay you also have your bypass tray your manuals you tray for any special paper types of course when you're loading anything in there tell it what kind of paper you're loading in and then simply match it up in the driver for more information uh please find our video clip on uh how to print from the bypass in regards to jams, it will show you right on the screen. Um, very, very user-friendly, shows you uh, where it's located, a little picture of the machine and the paper pad. That being said, if I start from the bottom uh, right-hand corner, that's um, opening up. I'm gonna see my paper that's coming directly out of my paper tray. I'll simply just pull it out, okay? Then just close that up like that. Next, if I lift my gray lever here, it gives me this one here. In here, you have a green roller for the top, a green lever here for the bottom. Use those to feed the paper out as much as you can. Once the paper is no longer uh, feeding out via the rollers, simply just pull it out. Again, check the top and the bottom roller because it can be processing more than one page at a time. Also with my bypass tray, there's a little handle here. This is actually where it's flipping it to duplex it. So I'll open that up, I'll see the paper and I'll pull it out from there. Perfect. If you have an inner finisher, you will open the little door, slide the little green lever over, your paper will flop down, simply pull it out from here. If you do not have a finisher, your tray will be just right in here, so you don't have anything to worry about, okay? Great. In regards to your document feeder, I can open up right up here, as well as if I lift this up, I can drop this down, getting access from here. Also, I have my roller to feed out my paper from there. My on-off switch is at the top here, this little crescent, it means it's sleeping, just wake it up. And my home button will always bring me to my screen here. If you need to do a physical reboot, right over here, turn, uh, turn the switch, slow 10 seconds until you turn it back on, okay? 
Thank you for joining me today. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at Sharp Direct and we'll be more than happy to help you.